Well, my first of all, welcome to the heart of America. It's great to have you here. Welcome to the heart of the heart of America. <laughs> <laughs> my first question is overcoming habits um, that inhibit abundance. And for instance, okay, it's all centered around abundance. And, and little things that I refer to, I, I was brought up always to shut the lights out when you leave a room for economic reasons and for energy reasons and all this. So I grew up with that. And that's not a problem when you're living by yourself, but when you're living with other people, that's not always how they see it. And it really wouldn't be a problem if that didn't bother me. You know, little things like that, like putting even things in the dishwasher and you put them in so that you get the most done. The most washed. I mean, that's so simple and so stupid in a way. But still, if I have a, a feeling about it or a reaction to it, that's, that impacts my abundance, and the feeling of abundance. The thing that we like most about this example is that, again, it's talking about controlling others who don't have shortage issues. <laughs> and you might say, well, they're not paying the electric bill either. But what we want you to realize is that it is just the simple thing of you soothing you. Now, you see, because all your life, especially all of your controlling of the electricity usage life, all of that life, you have shown yourself over and over and over again that you are fighting an uphill battle that can't be won because you can't get them to think like you do. You can't get them to focus on that like you do. And you can't get them to agree with you. In other words, it, it's sort of like the war in the Middle East, really, when you think about it. <laughs> it, it, it it's the same basis, isn't it? That I see it one way and somebody else sees it another way and I can't get inside their head and they can't get inside my head. And what you're saying right now so far is, and. I need to control them. I need to convince them so that they will control themselves so that I can feel better. And we say, this is the perfect example of what we are talking about, no matter what the subject is. And you say, it's so simple. Why can't I get over it? And we say, because you haven't tried. You haven't gotten over it because you still believe you're right. You believe you're right. You believe that we shouldn't be wasting it. There's no need to. You want to be ecologically wise and we're not saying that that there is anything about your reasoning that isn't valid we just want you to understand that when you'd rather be right than feel good you you're often choosing upstream rather than downstream and when you choose upstream it never works for you you see every time something like that happens you wish for greater economy you desire more concern about the environment you desire a lower electric bill whatever it is you launch it and so and source says yes 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 to all of the things that you're asking for so over the years the more you've asked for that the faster this current is moving on that subject so when you see someone doing something in opposition to what you want and you turn upstream you create a tug of war that seems irrational the people who are watching you having this meltdown over something and we're exaggerating too over something that doesn't a little bit over something that <laughs> over something that doesn't seem all that important but they don't understand that it matters to you because you've really got your stream flowing hard about it but you're asking them to make the change so that you can go with the flow and that is the deadly trap to ask somebody else to do something that causes you to go with the flow that is the fatal error because they've got their own agenda going and they're not going to do it so you've got to figure out how to go with the flow so let's say you walk into the house and nobody's there and every light in the house is on and you have that knee-jerk reaction because you've been asking for years it's in your vibrational escrow sources over there living it and calling you toward it and you are in opposition clearly and you can feel the anger welling up inside of you and now you remember Abraham standing here pointing upstream and you say okay it's my job to diffuse this in some way to just stop paddling upstream so what might you say that would make you feel less upstream what could you say 
In other words, that's your only goal. Your, your goal isn't to train them. Your goal isn't to save the electricity. Your goal is to stop ripping yourself apart on something that even you say doesn't matter. Your goal is to get pointed in the direction of what you've been asking for, which is an efficient household and an economy that pleases you and a lower electric bill and greater abundance and a better balance between money in and money out. In other words, all of those things are very worthy things to want. In fact, so much so that sources over there living them on your behalf calling you toward them you're just not letting yourself go because you're letting the condition cause your vibration to be otherwise so what might you do to cause you to go with that flow well one thing is that it's really nice to have electricity to have it coming into our home so we can light our house and, and be able to do things that's night. true but we don't think that would soothe you very much because that's not the issue in other words the issue isn't whether we have electricity or not the issue is paying for it or the issue is frugality or wisdom so what might you say that would ease that shortage issue shortage of money shortage of electricity what might you say that would soften that hmm. <laughs> there's there's the rub i guess <laughs> you <know? laughs> well you could say something like if i were to calculate the amount of money that is rolling through my electric meter right now in a space of time of 12 hours it would be less than what I decide on a menu choice at a restaurant this or that mm. and I make those choices easily all day every day so this money is not really a problem now that would diffuse a little bit now you could turn and go upstream again as you say yeah but all day every day day after day after day after day after day <laughs> now you've turned back upstream but your point is to not be right because you see what happens we think is in your determination to make your case you gather the statistics in order to try to control conditions Ah, oh, we're about to say something that we have never said before and it is so powerful in your making your case in order to control conditions you always go upstream isn't that interesting in your justifying of why you're right in your defending and rationalizing and justifying even though you're right you always turn upstream so you're working against your own current you see so you might say something such as Abraham says that if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire something within us that it has the wherewithal to provide it and so in the same way that at one time there was no electricity flowing through this nation now it flows in abundance everywhere and as new communities spring up they figure a way to deliver the electricity and so the electricity is never really in short supply because they've figured out how to make the supply and so there's no shortage of electricity and I don't want there to be a shortage of my ability to pay for it and when I think about it there really is nothing to worry about in that regard and as you just soften now in that moment at least you've turned and you are not bucking your own current as much right now as you just were now let's say that you come home every day and your beautiful family gives you the opportunity to do that day after day after day after day after day after day in other words every day you come home the lights are on every day the lights are on you let go of it 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 so you've been asking for some things for years relative to this and now just this week you started letting go of it and letting go of it and letting go of it so for the first time in years and years and years you are becoming a vibrational match to your own desire they're still not turning the lights off but you are coming into vibrational alignment with what you want so now you are offering one signal you're not offering a signal that says turn out the damn lights you're not offering a signal that says I want something I cannot get from you you're offering a signal that simply says this thing I want can you feel the difference in your power of influence in offering a signal that says I want this thing that you refuse to do and offering a signal that says simply I want this thing no split energy one who is not offering split energy is more influential than millions who are offering split energy so suddenly you've got a whole different vibe going on around you and around this household and you're in this house offering that vibration and guess what happens somebody leaves a room and they unconsciously turn out the light 
it occurs to them to turn it out in other words because there's a turn out the light vibration going on instead of I never turn out the light vibration going on we're not kidding you you affect the vibration around you you influence the people around you so what we're saying is you've got to get in concert with your own vibrational escrow before you can ever hope to influence anyone else to Ooh, isn't this good isn't this a wonderful thing to acknowledge if you're not in alignment with who you are and what you want you cannot begin to express that vibrationally and have any power of influence it is such an interesting thing to watch all of you of course your budget is money in money out money in money out money in money out but if you'd concentrate on going with the flow going with the flow the money in would be so huge the money out would be inconsequential it will come so fast you don't have time to spend it we are not kidding you Jerry said when Esther met him I don't care about money as long as I have all I can spend <laughs> And Esther thought that was the funniest thing that she had ever heard because it never occurred to her that she would ever have a shortage of time or that there would ever be a pile of money that she wouldn't have plenty of time to spend. Esther just figured that there would be no end to the places for money to go. But she had no idea what a true abundance of money really is either. In other words, when money starts flowing, it comes from all directions. It comes in such abundance that you wonder where it always has been. When you start going with the flow, not only does money flow, but clarity and vitality and wellness and ideas and more ideas about where to go in your flow. Thank you. We are complete.